Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Uh, today it's going to be a Patreon cast featuring Bisu and Larva. Here on Polypoid, it's an RJB replay. What else is new? Top right, it's going to be a Blue Zerg player. It is Larva. Bottom left, it's going to be Bisu. These two players have played like five or six times on my channel, and every single game is excellent. If you want a link to their other games, let me know. I read every comment anyone ever makes on my channel, and I'll respond to you directly, all right? Okay, and again, this is an RJB supply to replay. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Check them out, especially if you like fastest map. We've got Terry the Overlord scouting out on this four-player map, saying hello to the Ursidon, who is gravely wounded by who? That is the mystery. We've got Terry the Overlord merch at falconpaladin.store, as well as Robert the Overlord merch at falconpaladin.store. Alright, so, excellent, excellent, good time here today. A ZVP for your Patreon cast. For those of you who support me at patreon.com slash falconpaladin for at least one buck a month. If you're watching this, the week of June the 30th. Thank you very much for supporting me. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you're watching this after June 2023, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. I am here six times a week with StarCraft Brood War content. Well, sometimes less because I posted a best of nine, a two hour plus cast uh, back on June the 20th. And then I took a day off. So there's no cast on the next day, which, you know, gives me a chance to rest and gives people a chance to watch the giant behemoth two-hour cast, right? Right. Anyway, Nexus first into Forge, blind. Larva went hatch first. Bisu correctly guessed that he would do so. And there's the Nexus first. All right, man, Bisu. Good game sense. Two workers, what up, what up, Bob, what up? Everything is A-OK, -okay. yep. Not gonna tell you what I saw down there. Nope, no Zerg here, no Protoss here. All right, so by process of elimination, this is where Bisu is. And, oh, did you do it? I don't... I don't think he scouted the Nexus first. I don't... Why? Uh, okay. Why are we scouting top left? Is this just... A cute thing? Oh, okay. There we go. I... <clears throat> Third base at three minutes. Did he actually see this? Maybe. Maybe he did. Or maybe Lara's game sense is as good as Bisu's. Cool. Well, what's the uh, next level of tech here going to be? Going to be a Stargate because of course it is. If you don't open Stargate, Larva's just going to show up with like 12 mutas and kill ya. Real, real bad. So, we know how this works. We know how this opening thing works. It is super awesome and very standardized at this point. I mean, sometimes we see, like, a DT rush. Sometimes we see a Protoss player not going for a Corsair opening. It's not, you know, not too out there. Not too insane, but it is pretty nuts. Pretty risky, for sure. Whew. But, yeah, I love this third base timing from Larva. Like, so, so, so much. There is nothing... That Bisu could do to really shut that down. He's just now making his second Zealot. This Zealot taking an interesting path. Ooh, okay. All sorts of sixlings out. Yeah, taking a southern route. Robert the Zealot, man. We got t-shirts with his face on it. We got ourselves a mug with his face on it, too. I'm sure his whole body, not just his face. Second Zealot out. Where is this guy? He's taking a weird path. He's trying to avoid getting... What's happened to this guy, right? We are so slippery. Get him. How is it so hard to get a full surround on a Zealot? There we go. My goodness. Just the number of times I see a Zerg player do that first try is like zero. I don't think I've ever seen it. Holy run by Batman. 
Jumping on that cannon. Probe's got to fight it, and they do. Beautiful. Oh, and Probe's blocking. Oh, Bisu. Oh, Bisu. Every Protoss player was just like, how? How did he do that? Keeps the cannon alive. No lings get inside the main base at all. I mean, look, it's a Stargate, it's a Citadel of a Dune, and it's a Templar Archives. Shocking? No. Zealot shows up to the third base, and all those lings are dead. If you want to defend this, you got to make more lings. That's not fun. No one wants to do that. How many lings are out? There's a bunch more. Okay, fine. So, yeah, those lings. They didn't kill... They didn't even hurt the cannon. Maybe killed a couple probes there, but that's totally worth it. This Zealot's going to get behind these minerals. Yeah. Get in there, man. But more and more, I see Zerg players just being like, you know what? I don't care if it's not completely optimal. There we go. If they're positioned in a way that they can't optimally be killed, whatever. Overlord down to Corsair number one. Oh, Terry. We love you, Terry. Rest in peace, Terry. Yeah. These Zealots behind these minerals. Whatever. Like, we're not going to go back there and kill them because they're not really providing any value for Bisu whatsoever, are they? Correct. Macro hatch. It's larva. We know how much he loves. How much he loves macro hatches. It is a DT. Ah, I almost said DT, but like the three or four times I've said maybe it's DT. It hasn't been recently, so I was all scared off. But BC was like, Nah, man. Let's go DTs. DT Corsair. Fourth base on the way here at about six minutes from Larva. Loving that too. Scourge trying to see if there are any Corsairs they can kill over here. No, that's weird. Okay, bye. Where are the Corsairs they can kill? Here they are. Two of them. Ooh, three of them there. Another one on the way. Larva. Not making mutalisks. Wait. Did I just... Not making mutalisks at all. Which means he's supply blocked. No, wait. That's not the, the lack of mutalisks fault at all, actually. Dude, DT shows up. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. What a killer opening this is. Look at this. DT and Zealots working together. Nope, DT's not interested in actually killing the sunken. There we go. Corsairs chased off the Overlord. Ah! Overlord pops. DT, run. Run, DT. He's got eight kills. Oh my gosh. Eight kill DT. Fantastic. That is beautiful. Scourge, I don't think they connected on a Corsair there. Hard to tell, but they died right over the cannons. Uh, but Zealot made it all the way up here. Has a single kill. Why is he not killing these drones? There doesn't seem to be anybody to stop him from doing that. Good. I guess the drones are fighting him. Why are you worried about that? I guess because it's Larva and it's... Wow, okay. His drone stacking is amazing. Corsairs come in. Kill another overlord. What? Okay, this is weird, man. Where's your Hydra Den? If you're not going to get a Hydra Den, get a Spore, maybe? Ooh, good scourge conne uh, Scourge connections there on those Corsairs. Scourge and Corsair is Miss Scourge. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, and supply blocked is Larva again. Okay, so like this opening is kind of kick butt from Bisu. This DT Corsair stuff, man. It's friggin' awesome. There's nothing to kill these DTs, even though there's an Overlord up. Where are these Corsairs going? Kill them! Are there Scourge around? I don't know. These de Oh my gosh. Yeah. So at this point, I don't know. I don't know how Bisu wins this game, except for the fact that he's got four bases technically, and Bisu's still on two. So if he can survive this, and by that I mean keep his fourth alive magically somehow with the slowest overlords of all time trying to save it. Yeah, no, they're not getting in there, are they? Yeah, trying to make the DTs wor Oh, they made the DTs worried about it enough. I guess the overlord sight range is pretty good. Okay, keeping this fourth base alive. Oh, come on. These DTs need to get wiped out, though. Where are they? Are they both up here? No, nope, there's one there, and there's one down in this corner. Okay. All right. So this DT, dead. Slippery, but dead. And this DT, look at this. Look at Larva sending his slow overlord down here, too. Where is your overlord speed? Why are you not even re- Okay, I don't know what Larva is up to today. I don't understand. No Hydralisk Den. It's a Hydralisk Den. Oh my gosh. No Hydra Den for the first 10 minutes of the game. And no Overlord speed. When there are DTs around. Okay, at least he's got good sunken Sim City at his natural. Main base has a sunken up two, and he saved his fourth. Okay, good. So you know what? Fine. Ooh. This, this shuttle's headed top left. Guaranteed. 
Gonna try to get in there and snipe this fourth base while everybody's worried about the front door of this third base instead. Man, this Zealot group, they've got speed, they got plus one attack, they're mean. These Lings have no attack upgrades, no armor upgrades, nor are there any coming in. A Spore's on the way. Holy Ling counterattack from Larva down here. Bisu doesn't have a third base yet either. But yeah, these Zealots are on a direct mission to wipe out this fourth base, which is already very injured and doesn't take that long for Ze Okay, it's dead. It's dead. Unless the Zealots stu- Oh, boy. Ling attack. They get the cannon this time. Are there enough to Ling to do this? Oh, yeah. The fourth base died while I was looking down here. Absolutely. Of course it did. Ford's going to deny an armor upgrade. Probably. Probe's in here fighting. Uh, dude. Oh, <laughs> the Corsair Ball is so intimidating. So big. They got plus one attack and everything. All right. So the Lings get cleared up here inside Bisu's Nat. That's good. Bisu still doesn't have a third base. Corsairs running for safety. Uh, High Templar are out. Fall back to the one cannon. Is it enough? It is enough. The Scourge want nothing to do with it. Third base finally warping in from Bisu at 11 minutes. This fourth base is still denied. Gosh, finally, a uh, Carapace upgrade for Larva. Neat. Neato. Not going to complain about it. It's just, I don't know, these Zealots are getting a little too much value considering the upgrades they have. Ooh, another Corsair wiped out there. That rhymed. Scourge overhead. Archons will definitely kill you if you let them. Little Scourge. So, safe enough to get a fourth base again? I really feel like that's kind of a requirement here for Larva. It's three base in Bisu. If some lings can get across the map, they could actually probably force a cancel on this. The window is very, very tight and actually over now because there's cannons coming up. You need more lings. There you go. Fourth base with a macro hatch built in. Loving that. Like it a lot. Scourge ball. No, Corsair ball. Eight of them. Man, DT Archon Zealot trying to bust into this third base. No, says the sunken town. Sunken Sim City. Yeah, Larva knows what's up with the sunken Sim City. This Scourge Corsair dance is fun. I don't know if that was a connection or not. My gosh, there are so many. Ugh, one Corsair did die. I feel like that probably didn't have to happen. 126 to 86 total supply. Here is our guy. Bisu right now really just going heavy on the Corsairs. Continuing to produce them at almost 13 minutes. Which is a little bit rare. And once you have enough Corsairs, it's tough for Scourge to close in at all. They get close enough, they get burned out of the sky by that Corsair attack with the upgrade. And they stack. So, yeah. And I just, I don't know. Bisu, don't try to come in here either. This is a bad time, sir. Storm's on the way. He sees the number of hiders that exist and says, okay. At this stage of the game, we're definitely 100% gonna need some, uh, some storm against these hydras. Yeah, see, that was the sound of multiple Scourge dying and no Corsairs dying. See? That's what I'm talking about. Corsair balls, pretty scary stuff, man. Ooh. Okay, that was some good Scourge hits. I think two Corsairs went down there. Those Corsairs died for nothing. Scourge died for nothing. Overlord gonna die because Scourge couldn't connect on anything. And now, finally, Hydras exist to the level that Corsairs can't just hang around killing Overlords with really no problems at all. Ooh, I like this, man. This shuttling stuff that BC's doing. Getting a fourth base, too. Oh. Oh, man. All right. Well, Zealots are here inside the fourth base again. A little bit of deja vu here for Larva. Can he save the fourth base? These macro hatches might provide some value here. Drones are fighting. Hydras are fighting. But they suck against speed loss with plus one attack anyway. There's a DT in here just getting all sorts of work done. Actually, he looks more confused than anything. He's trying to get on top and actually hit someone. But he's just sort of bouncing around because pathing is bad. Hey, that sunken came up. Is it enough to save it? No. Yeah, Bisu. Killed so many overlords. So many hydras have died. That's a five kill archon. He's shuttling more zealots up here. Why not? This DT. Uh, six kills and focused and dead because Overlord's finally arrived. Amazing. 
Corsairs are like, yeah, if you want to worry about these Zealots, go right ahead. We'll just burn your overlords out of the sky in about three seconds flat. No big deal. Absolute chaos up here at the fourth base. Can Larva save it? I feel like yes. He just has enough fighters to do it. And Corsair Ball. It's big. It's big. But guess what we're into now? Dragoons. We are into High Templar with Storm. Is Larva getting Lurker Aspect at all today? I don't. I have not seen that come through the production tab, nor does he have any Lurkers morphing in, nor are there any Lurkers hanging out. So pure Hydroling Scourge right now out of Larva. Intriguingly, and yeah, Bisu, in all this time, he's been going after Larva's third and fourth base. He gets his own third and fourth base up. So even base count for the Zerg player is super bad right now. What a great movie Super Bad is, by the way. So great. I don't think I watched it for the first time until like last year. And it's great. I think it's still very, very, very good now. Classic. Ultimate classic. All right. So these links have one carapace. These hiders have one carapace. Okay. All three upgrades for the ground units are coming in right now. So that'll be nice for Larva when those actually happen. Plus one melee, plus one missile, and carapace level two. Super rad stuff. 175 to 109 supply Bisu. So Bisu's gonna win this game. But it is Larva, man. If there's any Zerg player on Earth that I feel like could hold on and possibly come back winning this game, being down 170 to like 100 supply at 16 minutes, it's our dude Larva here, right? He's had some incredible ZVPs on the channel recently. The best of nine I posted for June the 20th was a Larva versus Rain best of nine, and it was awesome. Go back and watch it. I know it's two hours. Maybe chunk it up a little bit, right? But I put, you know, three hours of time into that with the post-processing and the editing and the between-game stuff I had to do. And Anyway, check it out, man. It's really fun. PC is expanding bottom right, too. Yeah, I don't know. Thing is, Bisu's like, I don't really want to attack into an entrenched position with an army coming up behind me. But our guy Larva is not really letting me engage with him out of the middle of the map either. His army is faster than mine. So he doesn't have to engage if he doesn't want to. And look at Larva just being like, la 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 la. We're across the map. We're killing cannons and zealots and stuff. And Bisu's like, well, if you're across the map, then uh, I'm just going to push into your third base and completely wipe it out. How's that sound to you? Free High Templar. Free High Templar. Free High Templar. Free High Templar. Yes. And these Sunkins did not last long as I... Uh, yeah. Hey, Lurkers are here. They immediately eat two storms and die. So that's not great. This game is bonkers. The third base of Bisu is dead. The fourth base is alive, but the third base of Larva is dead. He's expanding to a fifth base on the right side too. Lurker count is here and spread out enough that coming up this ramp seems like a pretty bad idea. Bisu agrees, he backs out. This giant Corsair ball is giant. Adrenal's on the way from Larva. We know how that will turn the tide of this match for sure, especially again if the Lings have upgrades, which they almost have plus one at 18 minutes. Almost has plus one at 18 minutes. Bisu never actually took an Nexus down here in the bottom right. Doesn't have the cash for it currently right now either. All right, 171 to 126 supply. I just, I don't know. Is this game just getting an epic tag, period? I feel like this game is getting an epic tag. We're at 17 minutes. Larva's kind of closed the gap here. 170 to 120 is not as bad as it was. Also killing Bisu's third base, but losing your own third base totally sucks. I don't know, man. Why are there multiple overlords down here? They weren't dropping anything. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And yeah, Larva's just refusing to engage with the majority of Bisu's army because he's not dumb. He can't handle this. He doesn't have enough units to deal with it. He's going to defend his bases well as he can with the Lurkers and Hydras and Lings and... Adrenal's done, so that's a massive help for him. Yeah, see, 133 now. Although third base is coming back for Bisu. This fifth base is not happening. Ling's trying to 
accomplish something. They don't. Nothing gets accomplished there whatsoever. I guess a storm came out. Dude, more. More dropping zealots into this fourth base locale, but these lings are adrenalings now, so, uh... You dead. You zealots are dead. Sorry. And they have the plus one. Whew. And plus one armor. Holy smokes. Gateway upgrades are currently standing at plus three attack and plus one armor, because, well... I don't know. Protoss are generally better at getting their upgrades than Zergar in this matchup, and they're faster with it, too. I guess they're not usually usually as resource-starved as a Zerg player is in a situation like this. Yeah, I don't know. This is just a tough ask for any Zerg player on Earth. It's Bisu. We're talking about here, okay? So I don't care who's in this player's shoes at this moment. It's a tough ask for any Zerg player to defeat them. But the fact that it's Bisu just adds another level of absolute just depression to every Zerg soul being like, I don't know, man. I don't know about this. And again, this is a Patreon cast. So if you're watching this the week of June the 30th, nice storm drop, by the way. If you're watching this a month before anyone else can see it. Oh, kind of had to storm his own... Shuttle a little bit there, but it's still 54 workers for our guy, Larva. That's not the end of the world. Yeah, patreon.com slash Falcon Paladin for a buck a month. I do feel like I need to correct something I said a couple months ago that was wrong. I said Patreon took like 20 or 30% from your donations for them, and that's a lie. It's 5%. Uh, I set up my Patreon before 2019, so I have a grandfathered in rate of 5%. So, which I think is totally fair. For Patreon, you know, to provide the website and the way for you guys to pay me and stuff without me having to do that is great. So a 5% cut from Patreon is awesome. And uh, actually, I think I had someone say, like, I don't want to support you through Patreon anymore if they take that much money from you. And I get it. If it was 30%, I can understand that sentiment. But it's only 5 so anyway. Little as a buck a month. Alrighty, there are also yearly donation options there too. Nice snipe on that op. If yearly is more to your style than monthly. Alright, Lurker's getting some beautiful hits here. Archon leading the charge, taking a lot of the damage. Storm up, one storm, not enough, not the two. And a backside attack here. This just keeps... This supply difference just keeps creeping closer and closer and closer here. 130 to 160 now. These adrenal wings just chomping at these dragoons. Uh-oh. This army of Bisus. Larva decided he can engage with it now. And that's not good. He gets an Archon as it's morphing in. Is he target firing individually injured dragoons there? Or was that just luck? I don't know. Hard to say. Taking a 12 o'clock 6th base here too is Larva and Larva. Okay. He's coming back. Which... He, he needed to get something done there. Ooh, a seventh base as well. Double expanding. Hasn't really been able to do anything about these Corsairs. I assume a plague is in the future somewhere, as there is a defiler on the way. Lurker wandering into Cannon Town. Population Bisu. Uh, is there enough to defend this seventh base? No. Immediate cancel. Bisu marching down, killing overlords and stuff. Everybody fleeing for their lives. This is an interesting attempt, man. Trying to take down this... Oh, that was just... Bisu shut that down immediately. Storms, cannons, yep. Good to go. Good snipe on that obs, too. Nope, there are two more obs here. Backup obs. Ready to go in case there are some lurkers, which the Nidus provides some lurkers. Thank you for asking. And Bisu backs out because the sunken and... Sim City and all of it's just really tough to deal with here. Protoss players can feel BC's pain at this stage, right? Without a doubt. A lot of pain. Okay. Ah, the first Dark Swarm of the day, and BC retreats immediately. He knows. He knows what Dark Swarm entails, and what it entails is him losing a battle, without a doubt. Bisu just been on the offensive here for the vast majority of this game. Larva's tried some stuff. He did kill that third base, but that was pretty much it as far as his accomplishments go. Uh, man, that zealot count just means the Dark Swarm isn't really all that useful, but hey, let's Dark Swarm it anyway. Just so the Dragoons can't engage here. The zealots are getting on top of these lurkers. That's one down, but... 
without the help of the Dragoons, it's really tough to take them out. That's exactly what the Dark Swarm provided there. Was completely got the Dragoons out of that picture. Still about 40 supply lead here for Bisu. This whole bottom side of the map belongs to him. He's going to expand again. Look, there's a reason Bisu is the greatest Protoss player of all time. High Templar has to evacuate. And he's just going to cast a storm here because what else can you do? What else do you do? Cast a storm. 2-2 two -two cracklings exist. 3-1-2 upgrades for the Protoss. Excellent upgrades there. He's got all of his pertinent upgrades. Storm, Dragoon range, right? Zealot legs, that kind of stuff. Uh, good pullback on that. High Templar not allowing it to get sniped. Scourge hanging out with more shuttles. Head up this left side. Love that display from him. Love that play. And yeah, BC's maxed out, man. Larva is kind of in desperation hold on mode here. But that's sort of what he's good at. Is he's good at setting up base defenses in such a way that even a superior, a vastly superior Protoss army can't really bust through? It's insane. Yeah, Sunkins, Lurkers all over the place. Bisu can't really get up there. Now, the thing that's good for Bisu is Lara hasn't been able to set up any kind of a counterattack at all. Not for a while. Not since that one to the bottom right base got completely shut down. To an embarrassing extent. Is he adding more Corsairs? No. He's good with the Corsair ball that he has. Thanks. I really like to see Plague Research. Again, trying to bust on in here. Dark Swarm is up. Zealots kind of bouncing around like they're not sure what to do. And Yeah, it's just hard to get in there. I mean, baiting the Lings to come outside the Dark Swarm is good. Yeah, yeah, outside the Dark Swarm, that is the purview of the Protoss here, but, uh... Wow, these Sunkins have been putting in so much work today. Insane amounts of work. Bisu says, I've backed off attacking into your bases way too many times. But I'm gonna do it again, I guess. This Archon, no chance. Oh, unless Storm totally saves his butt, which it did. Hey, 11 kill Archon. Born with the kills of the High Templar that created him. Yeah, I don't know. At this point, I feel like Bisu's got the game pretty well in hand, but it's Larva we're talking about here. Does Larva have his own playlist? I think he does. Most of the uh, amazing players on the channel have their own playlist, if you ever want to check those out sometime. Flash, Jadong, Bisu, uh, Larva, In Control, White Ra, Idra. You know, fun foreigners, too. They've got their own playlists. Snow should probably have his own. I think I have a snow playlist, actually, now. Anyway, any playlists you want, let me know. Again, I read every comment anyone ever makes. So if you want a specific playlist to be created, I'll do it for you. Plague's on the way. Excellent. Seems a little bit late for 28 minutes in his EVP, but hey, whatever. Yeah, look at this. BC's maxed out, but it's only a 20 supply difference here in favor of the Protoss. Zerg's in a better position than uh, you'd expect them to be, right? But it's Larva. It's Larva. His base defense has been impeccable, other than losing that fourth. Because he didn't have Overlord speed for some reason. I think that's what killed it. Oh, that storm defense of this base was magnifique. It was beautiful. And gorgeous. Finally getting shuttle movement. A game where BC has been shuttling units around all day. He finally gets shuttle speed. This is a very weird... Oh, free shuttle. A little bit careless there from BC. Yeah, very weird game for upgrade timings. But they're getting there. They're getting there nevertheless. Go, sick plague. Crazy, crazy good plague there, man. These zealots hate this stuff. Oh, gosh. that's You're going to hear zealots dying a lot here. Because they've been plagued and lurkers are smashing them in the face. Ah, that's the action. These zealots, they don't care. You know what? Plague zealots dying just makes room for more zealots to be produced back home. And those guys aren't plagued. And suddenly, Larva's up 169 to 154 supply. Yep, once Plague gets tossed down and a million Zealots die, that's how a Zerg can start getting really, really good cost-effective trades. Bisu is setting up his own 6th base. Nope, 7th base up here. High ground, minerals only. 
We're running out of places to expand. Two bases have not been expanded to yet. And they're ones that Beast is keeping a very, very close eye on here today. Nice plague there. But seriously, you guys, youtube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. Check them out. Scourge, maybe going after observers. They're easier targets. You just have to be able to see them is the problem. Yeah, okay. Corsair Ball Plague. That really reduces their effectiveness quite a Quite effectively, if you want to be redundant in your speech, Falcon, which you generally don't. That was a dead dead shuttle sound. I heard that. I heard that take a scourge to the face and die. Yeah, so it's 191 to 186 supply Zerg players up. Zerg player very happily on seven bases, which is just more power than any Zerg player should probably have. Yeah, these Corsairs can't really fight anymore, man. They used to be able to kind of sit here and take Hydra shots without dying. Not anymore! Not anymore. That's a storm drop if ever I saw one on the minimap. Not bad. Still 58 workers for Larva. He just doesn't care. I don't think that storm drop really bothers him all that much. Especially if he gets to kill two High Templar. Like, that's a fair trade any day. In any book. This shuttle is dead. Does get a nice... Okay, gets a storm drop off there. But then the shuttle dies and both High Templar die. So... <sighs> The trades. I don't know. I don't know if these side Templar are paying for themselves here. Not great. Beast is trying to take the left side 9 o'clock for his own. Which would really help him win this game. He's down about 25 supply. Adding Reavers into the mix would be a good idea at this stage. And by golly, he did. I thought I saw some Reavers coming through. So the Reavers exist. So Beast has got every single piece of the puzzle he needs to win this game. It's Archons. Nice plague. It's Zealots. It's Dragoons. It's Reavers. The Corsairs aren't really necessary to win this game, which is why I think he was just kind of letting them die to free up supply for other better stuff like High Templar and Zealots. The big thing that's really going to ruin this whole strategy he's going for is Plague. Uh, Dark Swarm is going to be pretty big here too with the number of Dragoons that are still part of the composition, but I feel like their days are numbered as no Dragoons are in that production tab whatsoever. So, man, when's the last time we saw a game where both players were... Well, I guess BC's not at 200 supply yet. I was going to say, maybe if Bizu gets a 200 supply. Because, like, it's pretty common to see, you know, 170, 180, but literally 200 supply on both players. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful Dark Swarm. Oh, Dark Swarm Lurker attack, but there's Zealots here and Reavers. So the Lurkers very hastily bid their adieu. And retreats like the brave, brave lurkers that they are. All right. We're adding the Reavers into the mix here. Good shots are going to do amazing against everything the Zerg's playing with right now, except for Scourge. Lings, Hydras, Lurkers. Doesn't matter. Reaver shots are feared by all of those units. They have nightmares about Reavers. Great pickup. Saved it. No plague on the Reavers either. That's a big deal. And, ah, retreating Hydra is taken too. Bam. Right to the back there. So, okay, so this base exists too. So every base on Polypoid has been taken in 33 minutes. That's how you know it's a good game. 190 to 193 supply. Like I said, I'm epic tagging this. I don't care. This is a sick, incredibly crazy, crazy good ZVP. I think Larva coming back from a position where he had about half the supply of Bisu is worth applauding on its own at this stage. We'll see if that works out for him or not in the long run. I mean, it would seem like quite a shame if he was able to come all the way back and then just died anyway. But hey, it's Beast who we're talking about here, right? This isn't, I don't know, this isn't lesser Protoss players. It's not playing against a foreigner like White Raw or something today. This is Bisu. This is a massive, massive threat who hasn't really gone into like the mass Archon play Still got a lot of Zealots and Dragoons in this mix, but once again, I think the time of the Dragoon is basically over. Too much Dark Swarm potential here with the number of Defilers out. Hydra's trying to stop the advance from the south here with Bisu's army. Storms chase them away. They retreat. Retreat pretty heavily into Sunken Lurker Town. Toy Cop's watching this game going, it's impossible to break a Zerg base that has Sunkins and Lurkers at it. And, like, Bisu probably would agree with you. Dark Swarm Hydra attack, not as good when there's infinite storms available. Dude, Bisu knows how to defend a base. He knows how to defend a base. 
He's struggling killing Larva's bases, but he can defend a base like a pro. Little High Templar dance down there. Very adorable. Good snipe on that OBS. What on earth? Overlord saw that? Must have Overlord's sight vision upgrade. Holy smokes. But is this just basically the map cut in half? It is. Which Larva shouldn't be happy about. He really should not be happy about having the map cut in half. Because the end of this game, it's going to be a more cost-efficient... Protoss army than Zerg army, although I don't know. I the way this has gone the last about ten minutes, I kind of feel like Larva has been more cost efficient, which is a crazy thing to say in a ZVP featuring Bisu, but maybe it is. God, space just being saved again. High Templar Reavers. Hang on, hang on. Cannons going down. Reaver shots are. Big, though, as always. And there's like two Hydras over here attacking this. They've got plus two attack. Ah, Reaver says no. Additional air weapon upgrade. What is Bisu doing? These Lurkers are going for something. They had to burrow out here. And actually, that did a really, really great thing there. Uh-oh. Bisu's losing. Okay, Bisu loses the base. Where did the Reavers go? Did they have to fall back? Oh, boy. Uh, I think Larva might have actually just won this game. He wiped out that base of Bisu's. This 3 o'clock is in a lot of trouble with no Reavers, no High Templar over here whatsoever. Lurker's joining the party. Going to help wipe out that Nexus. Bisu's army seems... Well, they gotta deal with these Dark Swarm Lurkers first before they can save this Nexus. Dude, Hydra count is only two. But the damage output. Look at this! Look at this Lurker egg trying to buy time to get the Nexus down! Bisu just lost two bases. I mean, Larva hasn't taken them, which would really be the end of days here for the Protoss, but that hurts nevertheless. Okay, this honestly, this plus two air weapons is confusing me. Are there any Corsairs left in this game? If there are, there's like two of them. Good storm drop. And they are plagued, friend. They are definitely plagued. Dude, this base dying doesn't even matter. It's completely mined out. But better for a flank attack to get on top of Bisu's army. It is very close. 150 to 147 supply. Close is not where you want to be. Against a Zerg player of the statue, uh, stature of Larva here. Woof. Who probably does deserve a statue. This guy's amazing. Yep, there we go. So now Larva's trying to get that one base advantage up on Bisu. Shuttle decides not to head over there because there's Hydra's cutting off his his path. No, no, no. Don't just run into cannons. Don't be dumb, Hydralisks. Come on. Both players absolutely starving. Starving Marvin at this point. 162 to 163 supply. Yeah, this plus two air weapons. If we can find a Corsair in this game, I'm going to be surprised to find it because... I don't think there are any. So unless Bisu is planning to spend his remaining gas on Corsairs, which I really don't think are a good value at this point, and you can't really make enough for them to be a big threat anyway. I don't know. I just don't know. Bisu's up 179 to 173 now. Retakes his 9 o'clock. This high ground minerals bottom left base is not his. And in fact, there are drones heading down here to mine it. Forever. Scourge are hunting for Corsairs. They're hunting for shuttles. Carelessly flying over cannons in their pursuit. Yeah, a lot of bases are mined out on both sides of the map here. Still, you know, still a few active for both players, which is good. Storm drop? Oh, somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Great place to storm, by the way. Historically great place to storm.
lot of High Templar in this bottom right base. Recognizing how important this section of the map is for Bisu. This base is important. This base is important, at least for a little bit while longer. Um, snipe. Both players about 190 supply. It's so tight right now. So tight. We are out of position. Reverse. Oh, not a hey, plague the cannons. Hey, there's someone who always asks, why don't Zerg players plague buildings? It's good. It is good. And in this case, Larva agrees with you. That Reaver is dead. Million storms available. What was I just talking about? Plaguing even the Nexus. So it'll die. Insane. Dude, the storms, though. The Hydras cannot hold still for a second before the storms find them. Big old move out across the map here from Bisu left to right. Uh, not enough time to save that Nexus. Another one falls. This has been the, what, one, two, fourth Nexus down here today. Fourth Nexus killed by Larva today. So this income is toast. Bisu says, all right, I got to make a move on something. I got to take out one of these bases. I have to do it. There's not a lot here on this high ground base that Larva is working with. And in fact, it is Probably gonna die. A lot of lings and lurkers and hydras are stringing in, streaming in from the left side, from the bottom side, from the south, and from the west. But the storms, so good. Hatch down. All right, all right, all right. Dude, Bisu has so many storms, it's not even funny. Wow. Okay, so what's the answer to everything Zerg does? Storm. <laughs> So left side base of Bisu mining, bottom right base kind of mining. This was really important. A couple free high Templar though. This was really important for Larva, man. I know he has this 12 o'clock in this base too, but this is important for him. Now, the good thing about Zerg here, the good thing for Larva, is that Lings are probably more cost efficient than Zealots are. Not by a ton. So if we're at a position where gas is very scarce, nice plague, and all we've got is minerals, Zerg's okay. God, Defiler dies, though. That's not cost efficient, is it? No. And I feel like it's been a while since we've seen a Protoss win a Zer, uh, against a Zer on this channel, but suddenly it's 196 to 142 supply. Another base easily down here. This is just a big, big maxed out army. Archon, Zealots, Reavers, High Templar bringing up the rear here. Yeah, I don't know. Larva does not have a lot of mineral income after losing these two minerals only bases. He's long distance mining trying to make up for it here. But man, remember what I said about the Zealots maybe not being as cost efficient? Maybe that's a lie. They've got 333, man. They're tough. They're tough boys. Plague up. Reaver down. Reaver shots. This is not going well at all for our guy Larva. Because our guy Bisu. Dude. Is that it? This base full evac happening. I think Larva's got a tap here. He's got no money. 100 supply. 115 to 188. The Reavers. As usual, really turning the tide here, as the storms were too. Dude. What a crazy good. I was going to say sick again, but I've said sick like eight times during this cast. Probably more. What an amazing back and forth this match has been. And I think Beezy's just kind of held on. Sure, he's lost four Nexuses today, but who doesn't? Who hasn't lost four Nexuses before against Larva, right? Not a big deal. Laura trying to retake the bases. The two... Okay, this one's back. The two bases he lost up here on his side of the map. I mean, well, Beastie might throw up another Nexus here, too. Just to get as... Just squeeze as many minerals out of Polypoid as possible. A couple hiders do manage to sneak down here. That's the thing about hiders, man. They're fast. Oh, look at this. Hydra Micro. Trying to get that Archon. Oh, didn't lose a single Hydra doing it. But then the Zealots show up, and now the Hydras are dead. So... The trades. Yep, retaking this base and uh, cannoning the ever-loving crap out of it. 
because there's about, you know, because BC's got mineral income again. The long distance mining here too. This is, it's tight, man. So Larva's been in this position before. Bisu retakes, yep, retaking this minerals only, high ground base. All right, 190 to 131 supply. Does Larva have one more miracle left in him? I don't know that he does. This Archon count is big. Archon Zealot here. The Reavers remain a threat on some level. I don't know where they are, to be honest with you. Where the heck did those Reavers go? Are they over here? Yep. Nope. That's a High Templar uh, experience in that shuttle. Ah, it was here. Okay, defending this left side base. Worried about some kind of an impending attack. This... Yeah, this game is a marathon for both of these players. Ridiculous. Utter, utter ridiculosity here. Plague. On buildings again. If Larva will do it, it's good enough for him. Great storm. Oh, boy. Woo! Drone count down to 31. Not where it wants to be. 50 was a healthy place. 30, not so much. But Bisu just continuing to throw down storms everywhere. Keeping the Reavers to defend this left side base. Bottom side is defended by a million cannons. And the High Templar that are chilling up here on this high ground. That guy's got 250 energy. That's three storms, friends. Three storms. Can queens cast three spawn broodlings with full energy? No. Another storm. 25 drones remaining. I just think Larva's getting just squeezed. Squeezed right around his neck here. Bisu choking off his lifeblood by killing these drones. I don't know what that storm was, but that's okay. The previous, like, ten storms have been really good. Except for this one that kind of went. But hey, you know, eight out of ten, not bad. Eight out of ten on insanely good uh, storms here. Yeah, Larva's like, I can't really engage here. I guess we have to. So he chooses to engage middle of the map. Immediately, the lurkers eat some storms. This group... Oh, interesting. Gonna try to take down everything here. Okay. Reavers in the middle of the Dark Swarm trying to get shots off. Dark Swarm up. Nexus. Not really taking hits here. Defiler is eating some storms there. More storms inside the Dark Swarm. Can't even see what's in there. And it doesn't matter. That's a GG. Larva taps out. And Bisu is our winner in 48 minutes. Yo! Absolutely crazy, 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 crazy good. Crazy good. ZVP. That is getting an epic tag. Wow. Excellent job there, Bisu. Four or five Nexuses sniped. A lot of probes down. But yeah, he just crawled back because he's Bisu, man. A lot of storm drops, a lot of storm in general. We got Reavers all over the place. Reavers who do not care about Dark Swarm as well as High Templar and as well as Archons. <sighs> just killing those minerals only bases there from Larva and then reestablishing his own bases. And that was it. Economic win here for Bisu. Hot diggity darn that was so good that was just insanely good what a crazy, crazy, crazy good ZVP that was. It was almost nonstop action. The Reavers really made a difference, didn't they? Okay, five and six kills. Doesn't seem like a lot. Because <laughs> it isn't. But still. Oh, wait. Hang on. There's another one in here. So it's uh, eight, six, six, and five. Mm. 
was expecting to have one at least 10 kills, but whatever, it's fine. Yeah, Plaguing Buildings was awesome there from Larva. He never lost... I guess he did lose his third and his fourth, but the 12 o'clock was never breached, and he never lost his main anything. His natural and his main was alive forever, but this base died. This base never died. Did get storm dropped once or twice, though. So this base died, this base died, this base died, this base died. So, I mean, a lot of Larva's bases went down, and Bisu only really ever lost four of them. So, yeah, Bloodbath either way, both sides. But, yep, Storm's good, Reavers are good, Archons are good, Upgrades are good. 470,000 points for Bisu, 430 here for Larva in this game. Got outproduced by a 3 to 1 ratio today. Bisu did. The kill death ratio was a uh, 3 to 1, though. So, hey, it works out. Structures raised, 48 to 26 in favor of Larva. And, yeah, yeah, Larva, Larva outspending Bisu here, but only by about 10,000 resources in 48 minutes. Yeah, that doesn't seem like enough really doesn't i mean <sighs> crazy like super 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 crazy zvp there that was incredible <sighs> so protoss is happy zerg is kind of sad and that's gonna be it for me this has been falcon paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Starcraft Brood War Remastered and a Patreon game. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. You take care of yourself.